So once again, I was lucky enough to be invited to Samsung KX ahead of the unpacked event to get an early look at the sixth generation Galaxy foldable and flippable phones and the new wearable tech. So before my wallet folds up and dies after I pre-order these things, I thought I'd make this video for you guys to get a close up look at the new colors of the fold and flip phones so that you can choose the right one and not make a mistake. I'll also be highlighting the key design upgrades that you need to know about. And if you stick around, I will show you some of the awesome new AI stuff so let's start with the Galaxy Z Fold 6. This one here is the titanium blue. The color is quite dark. I believe it's officially called navy. It's definitely one for people who want their phone to be a little bit more low key and stealthy and not too flashy. But saying that, it does look premium up close. Now something interesting about all of the Fold phones this year that you can't see is that they're using a new arm aluminium which is actually 10% more scratch resistant than before. And at the same time, the weight is 14 grams lighter than the Fold 5 and actually 24 grams lighter than the Fold 4. So that's pretty significant. Now this one here is the titanium pink and it's not a vibrant pink hue. It's kind of a soft marshmallow pink color. That's my best description of it. This one is probably gonna be more popular with the ladies. Now, something that might be quite hard to notice through this video is that the edges are a bit more squared off but surprisingly, it's still very comfortable to hold and it feels noticeably thinner when closed. And that's because it is, in fact, thinner. The Fold 5 was 13.4 millimeters thick when closed. The 6 is 12.1 millimeters thick and the hinge has been redesigned. It's now a dual rail hinge, which helps to reduce that weight. And when closed, you can still see a small gap down the middle near the hinge but it is tiny. Now here's a very significant upgrade. Previous fold and flip phones did have an IPX rating. The X means that there's no dust proofing, but now both phones actually have official IP ratings with the fold now being IP68, so dust and water resistant. And you might not have noticed this, but the form factor is now a little bit shorter, but at the same time, the cover display is a little bit wider. It's now a 6.3 inch on the cover display. The previous Z Fold, the number five, was 6.2 inch. And Samsung have achieved this by shrinking the bezels down. Okay, now this one's my personal favorite. It is the Shadow Silver. This one looks the most striking to me. It's the most eye-catching and most neutral color of the three. I particularly like the titanium silver used on the S24 Ultra because it had that metallic look. And that's the same reason why I like this one. But what about you? Out of the Fold phones, which one would you choose? Now, it's worth noting that there is an exclusive crafted black color and a white color that's available if you order online, which they didn't have on show, unfortunately. I will have a link below if you wanna get a look at those. Now, here's a few more subtle upgrades on the Fold phone that you can't see. The Z Fold 6 has upgraded speakers and mics and improved AI for the mics. And the primary camera is now using the same 50 megapixel sensor used on the Galaxy S24 Ultra and the ultra wide lens also has a new improved sensor behind it. And you might have noticed the design change on the camera module. It's got these dark rings around each of them, kind of similar to what my eyes look like after staying up all night editing these videos. Now here's the most significant upgrade in my opinion. The inner display is now quite a bit larger. Again, it's shorter and wider with thinner bezels. It's a 7.5 inch display now, and both of the displays on this phone have significantly higher peak brightness of up to 2,600 nits. And on the inner display, there's a new material used to reduce reflections and the visibility of the crease. And there's two more big upgrades beneath the surface that will massively improve the performance on this device. It is Qualcomm Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 for Galaxy. This one's kind of an overclocked version of the chip and it's exclusive to Samsung. The MPU performance is up 41%, the GPU performance is up 25 and the CPU up 14%. And to help this run at peak performance for longer without performance throttling, Samsung have upgraded the vapor cooling chamber. It's now actually 1.6 times larger than the one used on the Galaxy Z Fold 5 from last year. And something else worth noting here is if you do get the official case with the S Pen, they've managed to slim that down as well. So that's nice to see. Okay, now the Z Flip 6. There's four colors, blue, yellow, silver shadow, 
and mint. And once again, there are some online exclusive colors, crafted black, white, and peach. Once again, there'll be a link below if you wanna check those ones out. So let's start with the mint. The color is really nice, just like the pink fold that I showed you before. It's kind of a pastel color. It's not a saturated mint, and the upgraded armor aluminum used here also has a slight tint to match, which is really nice to see. The yellow, just like the mint, is not a strong yellow. It's more of that pastel color again, and it adds character to the phone without making it too loud and obnoxious like me after too many beers. Again, that yellow tint is reflected on the titanium frame and it does look good, but it's not my favorite. For me, it's between the blue and the shadow silver. The blue flip six is kind of that light blue shade, which does look nice. And you'll notice it's kind of got that frosted finish to it. All of the phones have that. And I do particularly like the blue tint on the metal on this one, but I think it's another win for the shadow silver for me personally. To me, it just looks the most premium maybe the most classy as well. And again, it's probably because I do like that full metal look that it has. Now, if you are wondering, just like the Fold 6, the back and front on the flip is Victor's 2 glass from Corning. And with the Flip 6, there's not a lot of visible differences between the Flip 5 from last year and the 6, except for this. Around the camera module now, it has color matching rings around the lenses, which gives it a nice accent. So the reality is with the Flip 6, most of the significant differences are on the inside. This year's Galaxy Flips have an upgraded battery. It's now up to 4,000 milliamp hour, and that's up from 3,700 last year. The RAM has also been upgraded on all of the models straight out of the box from 8 gig to 12 gig. And the Flip 6 is rocking the same chip as the Fold 6, the Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 for Galaxy. And check this out for the first time ever, the Z Flip actually has a vapor cooling chamber and it's not a small cooling chamber either. It's actually 150% larger than the one that they used on the Galaxy S23 Ultra not too long ago, which does mean the performance should be massively improved here in comparison to the Z Flip 5. And that's good news because there are tons of new features to play with which I'll show you guys in depth once I get these devices here in the studio. But listen, before you go, here's a little taste of what the Galaxies have in store for you if you do decide to get one. There's a new flex mode interpreter feature where you can talk in your language and on the other side, the person can see the text translation in their language and when they talk to you, it works in reverse. So they can talk in their language and you can see it in your native language. So this kind of thing could be very handy when on holiday, also when you're learning a new language, or in this case, when ordering some Korean snacks. There's also an awesome new sketch on image AI feature where the Galaxy will recognize what it is you're trying to draw on the image and then it will create it and add it into the image properly. And honestly, it works so well I was so impressed with this when I saw it. And you can also take photos and instantly use AI to generate different types of stylized images. You've probably seen things like this via third-party apps before, but this one is native to Samsung's One UI. And then there's lots more features like this with the S Pen. There's also an improved flex mode video feature on the Flip 6, which again, we'll deep dive into when the phones are officially released. And just one more thing, there are quite a few new releases to keep an eye out for here on the channel. There's the much anticipated Galaxy Ring. Also the Galaxy Buds 3 and the Buds 3 Pro. And of course, the new Galaxy Watches. So come back and join me once again, and together we can rule the galaxy. Appreciate you guys. See you in the next one. Don't be late.